at the 1600 meter mark. Gates fly and they sent on their way. Lady Tiptree slightly slow into stride, drops in towards the back. Treasure Hunt began well, racing up there is Aerial View on the outside, the Sheepskin Nose Band, followed by Unyielding is next, Carbon Capiz in between runners, Mel's Princess the Grey at the rail, followed in behind that then by Twice to Heaven, and further back in the field is Matar. Then came Silvery Blue, further back is Desert Rose, then came Lady Tiptree and Chronicles of Narnia at the back end of the field, and about 12 lengths off the leader. They make their way towards the 1200 meter mark and Aerial View has found the lead and gone about a length clear. In second is Unyielding, Treasure Hunt is in third. Then came Twice to Heaven, the orange sleeves and cap, one off the fence, Silvery Blues on its inside, then comes Matar. Further back is Capon Capi, then comes Mel's Princess, has got about eight or nine to go, Desert Rose in the purple towards the back, then Lady Tiptree and Chronicles of Narnia. 600 meters left to go. Unyielding has now come forward and taken the lead. Aerial view still right there. Treasure hunt. Silvery blues down the inside. Then comes Cabon Capi. Further back is Matar. Still got seven lengths to make up. 400 meters from the judge. Unyielding's in front from Aerial view. Treasure hunt and Silvery blue down the inside. And further back is twice to heaven. But Treasure hunt has now hit the front from Aerial view. Unyielding on the outside. And Silvery blue down the inside. Running on well. And Silvery Blue got to the lead from Treasure Hunt and then comes Aerial View and Silvery Blue won it. Second Treasure Hunt, then came Aerial View, unyielding fourth. Cross the line. Yes, you head on replay, your winners on the extreme left hand side, Treasure Hunt, Aerial View, unyielding that quartet. All came to join each other into that last 200 meters. Treasure Hunt picking up the lead. Silvery Blue fighting on down the inside. And Unyielding trying to run on with Aerial View towards the outside. But it is Silvery Blue that is victorious in race number four. 11 4 7 2 is how they cross the line. Welcome back, and here yeah, we got the nod from Kelly Mitchley earlier on today. She pointed us in the right direction with Silvery Blue as a big runner and has won very well in the hands of James La Harbour, the apprentice. With me is Doc, and he's claiming the 1,500 rand courtesy of World Sports Betting, and that is for Charlie. So Charlie's a groom. Doc, tell him, very well done. Thank you, Doc. Let's go to the man that's, well, he's written a double here this afternoon. So we've got to go boom, boom, twice, eh? Hey, yeah, there we go. James, lovely to have you back in the winner's box. You got the confidence, obviously, from Kelly as well, because she did say when I interviewed her, Nana, she made this a, a lively runner today. Uh, thank you very much. Also, uh, she told me on a parade train that this has got a chance. So I wrote it uh, exactly what they asked me to do, to be just be there. I done exactly what they asked me to do, and it really paid. It paid. When I watched the grey move up on the inside running rail, a long way out, I could hear the commentator say, here we go. And it was, it was actually a very, very easy win. Yes, yeah, it took his own time to quicken, but I didn't give up on her. I just guided to move forward. And I'm happy that it gave us a quick as a win. All right, and I'm sure the academy is all very happy with the, your success at the moment. You're the top apprentice in the country. Yes, yes. Well done. Thank you very much. Also, I'd like to say a big thanks to Mrs. Uh, Mishley and Mr. Kyle, and also congratulations to the owners, and thank you for giving me this opportunity, and thank you also to the Academy of the Masters. We love having you here. I hope you come here every single week. Well done. And thank you very much. Thanks. That's James La Harbour. Now, here's a lady. I'm not going to give her a double knock on the fist. I'm going to give her a hug on behalf of all the visitors out there and the viewers watching as well. Because, Kelly, this game, you get it right sometimes. Sometimes we don't get it right. You're brave enough to say, you said this one and the one at the back have got winning chances. And you must be happy with the way Silvery Blue won. Yeah, no, we planned it to perfection. I mean, it is her third one after rest back into a mile, which she does enjoy. Last time out also did the three runs into a mile, and she ran very well. So we expected similar efforts from her, and she showed us what she could do, and James followed instructions to the tee. Nice rider. Yeah, he listens to instructions. He tries his best. If he, do, if he can't do that, he goes to plan B, and he makes a plan. So it's nice. And I also want to say thank you to Rocky O'Greta for get, um, at the academy for getting us um, James down and everything and making sure he gets here for us. 
All right, and the owners, Mr. Dennis Armstrong? No, huge congratulations to Dennis. You, as he's just said on the phone, it's been a drought for him. He hasn't had a winner in a while in his silks, so nice to lead in his silks into the winner's box in the pink and black. All right, and you are sponsored by? <laughs> no, and thank you to my sponsors, Betway South Africa, and also just want to say a huge thank you to my mom for all the input she's put into my yard and everything. When's your mom going to come racing? Oh, I see her park in the car when you take horses to the beach, but I don't actually see her come to the races. Uh, she doesn't do the racing. She's my, I think she's my biggest fan. She sits uh, at home, watches on TV, shouts all my horses home, tells me where their mistakes are. All right, well, there we go. Well done no, to you. And thank you to my team, to Carl, another win on his birthday, which is a nice double for the day for us so far. And yeah, no one must leave out um, Smog's board in the last. Don't forget about that. Okay, we won't. There we go. She's even volunteering it. Don't leave out Smog's board in the last this afternoon. And to Kelly's mom watching, you're supporting and your support goes a long way. Well done.